This is an overview of the macro editor. The purpose of the macro editor is to make an automation queue. To get to the macro editor, go to menu, Doremi apps, macro editor. This function is gonna be the same on the DCP 2000s, DCP 2K4s, and show vault servers. To create a new macro, click the plus sign, name your macro, select OK. Then click on insert a new action. All the categories are gonna be on the left side and all of their actions are gonna be located on the right side. For this purpose, I'm gonna generate a few macros that are gonna be executed to the projector. So I'm gonna select channel switch, add, make sure I'm sending it to my projector, go to channel two, okay, insert another action, I'm gonna strike the lamp, and then I'm gonna say on, make sure it's going to my projector, okay, I'm gonna insert another action, let's go ahead and open the dowser, we're gonna add, make sure it says open and that it's sending to the projector, okay, I'm gonna insert another action, this time it's going to be a playback action. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure play is selected. I'm going to add that. And since I don't want all of the macros to fire at the same time, I want to add delays in between each one. So I'm going to go insert a new action, macro control, delay, add. I'm going to add a one second delay. Move that up the list. Insert another new action, select macro control, delay, another one second delay, insert another action, and this time I'm going to add a 10 second delay just to give the lamp enough time to strike. I'm going to move that down one. And so now I'm going to switch my channel on the projector, delay a second, strike my lamp, delay a second, open my dowser delay 10 seconds, and then send a play command to the server. Once completed, select save, enter in your password, press OK, and then we want to go to menu, CineLister, and confirm that the macro that we just created shows up under the automation queues category. And there it is. This concludes the macro editor overview.